We're trying to understand the physical basis of cancer and how we could use things like ultrasound, light, to characterize the development of the cancer. What we discovered, and we're the first people to do this, is that when cells undergo what is called apoptosis, right, which means uh, cell death, the way that the wave is scattered from cells that are dying is different and uh, primarily from that frequency that we hear in a sense. We don't hear it, of course, it's ultrasound. You know, you can make inferences about what's happening to the cells. One thing that distinguishes my work and a lot of the work that happens at Ryerson is that, you know, we pay a lot of attention to the eventual impact on society and the application. That technology is currently used at Sunnybrook Hospital and there have been at least 100 women up to now that uh, have been imaged with this to determine as to whether a chemotherapeutic treatment is working early on during the treatment. An oncologist or a physician might make a decision whether to change the treatment or not. And it'll save the person, the woman, all the bad side effects associated with the treatment and save the healthcare system, you know, valuable and precious resources these days. Two diseases that I could tell you right off the bat that we're working on is one, of course, is blood cancers, but things like sickle cell anemia too, because with sickle cell anemia, the red blood cells just totally change their shape. We're very well known in our research disciplines of biomedical optics, ultrasound, and other such disciplines. You won't find another department of physics like it, because we hired people that did research in medical and biological physics we have the opportunity to collaborate with all the hospitals surrounding us. So a lot of our graduate students and even undergraduate students actually do some of their work at the actual hospital. Ultimately it boils down, right, to helping patients and physicians make the best decisions they can. 